Whilst everyone's well, welcome to an update. And oh yeah, just getting in as we speak, baby. Cracking day here in Bankura on my lunch break and doing a bit of recovery. Uh, where are we at? So it's been a couple of weeks since last update and by Jingo's has some uh, things happened. So uh, let me share with you a couple of things. After the, after the hunt, uh, I did two blocks of 50 a couple of weeks ago, uh, out my family got COVID. We haven't had it and we got it. And it went from my son to my wife to me. Um, and fortunately for all of us, we obviously did the five days, but um, I was only out for a couple of days with it. Um, and then my younger daughter got it, and then my eldest daughter got it. But we're obviously all out of it. So for about a week there, I was always going to recover from the 100 rounds. I did uh, the 250 blocks, but um, I was obviously in a bit of a holy shit moment because what could it do? Uh, and what, what you know, and, and obviously to those that have had a serious effect by it, well, well there, you have, there you go. So, uh, but God willing and all the above, uh, everything went well, and um, I was still training only after about five days of just recovery. So, uh, everything's going to plan. Appreciate everyone's support. Last night I did 50 uh, at about. I reckon it ended up, we wanted to go at about 75%, uh, but uh, very difficult to uh, ascertain that percentage. Um, but uh, my senpais and uh, students obviously put a little bit of thrashing into me. And um, uh, the, the, the part I wanted to share today was how you obviously don't want to get injured. And you don't want to have that shin, that wrist, that shoulder, that quad, the calf. All those little things that we tend to forget uh, that can affect a push off um, on the mats or on the floor um, and just that hesitation and I uh, needed to control all of that <clears throat> and uh, I did. But of course it only comes from thanks to my students and the way they had uh, supported me uh, over the past month of all the rounds. So in the month in over the month, we've done. I've done over 250 rounds at about that 80%, 85, and bits and pieces at 90. And obviously, you try to go a little bit further when it's a control fighter, and that knows how to do it. And I think that the learnings and takings of the last um, last night, more so, is that not every one of our students, or not that many people here in Australia, and, and I, I mean it with respect, obviously. That, haven't done uh, or have been a part of something like this. I know I haven't, and I've been doing Kyokushin for 22 years. I've never been a part of a 50-man kumite in helping anyone else. And most of the, obviously, the traditional 100-man kumites, Judd Reeds, uh, Xi'an Jad, Xi'an Filio, uh, Xi'an Arthur Havanas, and all the big dogs, all the goats, the greatest, have done the hundreds in Japan. And Knowing a couple of the sensei Xi'ans that have done it via the, I mentioned them last time, uh, Xi'an Mark Tyson, uh, Xi'an Frank Cirillo, Xi'an uh, uh, sensei Xi'ans, I respectfully, they're all fourth and fifth ends, they're all legends. Uh, sensei David from the Acker Group, they're the, com they're the most uh, notable ones that I've seen here in Australia because they're up on YouTube and I suggest you can get a chance to watch them because they're bloody tough, very hard, strong fighters and you know, in there, I, I think at those times, Xi'an Mark was late 40s, uh, Sensei Frank mid 40s, and, and Sensei David mid to late 40s. You know, hard buggers, tough. And they, they're honorable mentions because that's what I, I've mentioned last time, that's what inspires me. But my point is how to control the intensity of all the fights. You know, there's so many black belts that obviously are not 85 kilo. They're, last night, my my top, top guys are in that 90, 95, 100. Senpai Dane's 105, built like granite. Uh, Senpai James, 95. Senpai Dean, 115, 20. Strong bastards, you know, very strong hitters. And, and that's Kyokushin. So, uh, <clears throat> fortunately, I uh, get to come down here and do a bit of a recovery. Uh, the legs and the shins and everything are on point. 
Um, now it's, uh, what is it, uh, seven, 16, 17 days till the dance, October 22nd at the camp. And that's another great mention opportunity to thank everyone that's coming to the camp from interstate. How cool is that? From Sydney, Tasmania, uh, and Adelaide and New South Wales. Uh, more across New South Wales, not just Sydney, and Canberra. And we really appreciate those. And obviously our regional friends, you know, Bendigo, Geelong, um, to name a few. Uh, we can't wait, and I can't wait, and I appreciate it. And I'm sure the Xi'an, uh, Billy and Kyoshi. So if you're still uncertain, uh, the, 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 the mecca of it is obviously the attendance of Soshi, Ninth Dan, Soshi Azigawa and Hunchy at Yemen, and uh, Jesus, uh, is the pressure going to be on me with them in attendance and the other Xi'an, Xi'an Lance, Xi'an Billy, Kyoshi, Jimmy, um, and the others that are attending, Xi'an Wayne Murphy. Uh, hopefully Xi'an George Colovis is going to be there as well. Uh, they, these guys are inspirational to me, and their presence and their support, and having them there is going to be fantastic. So... Um, another thing I wanted to share is uh, next week I'll, I'll tease a little bit of the off off the mat training that I'm doing with our trainer Ben. Uh, ben trains myself and my wife, but uh, this is the first time, and to be honest with it, that I've had a actual trainer other than me or other than the Xi'an Billy. Uh, but Xi'an Billy com comes from that pedigree of you know fighting, and and he's done the 50 man as as Kyoshi, and this was more of just taking away me as a coach as a tr and just training and, and having someone grab the weights and having someone say push harder and go that little bit more and, and Ben's been fantastic. So we're going to have a chat with him and we'll, do a couple, we'll show a couple of clips of some of the training that we've been and it's just to reference for others and I hope it inspires and gives others some uh, motivation or just something extra towards their training. Um, and then I told Ben we'll have a chat to him. He'll share a little bit of what we've been working on over the last uh, six to eight weeks. And I've been going to him once a week, uh, every Thursday morning. And then um, I went this morning just to share with you. And we went hard and my legs were heavy and I wanted to be pushed that little bit more. I want to know where my threshold is. And uh, we did great, great hard session, heavy session, but um, he'll explain it more. I'm not good at explaining the, the scientific way of doing it and him um, working the program and I can't wait to share more because I think he needs a lot more kudos and and there's a lot of trainers out there that, that, that need it but from his end with me um, I can't wait for more fighters to be trained under him because I think a lot of Kilkshin fighters uh, are doing their absolute best in the dojo but what are you doing outside of the dojo and, and, and that's a very important part of keeping and maintaining um, our longevity, not just as teachers and instructors, but as uh, former full contact fighters um, that are doing these types of, you know, uh, events. And then nutrition, I mean, that's just, I'm just so lucky my wife takes care of me. Simply put, you know, she knows exactly how to, she controls the meals in the house and how that looks and feels and how that's done and I'm pretty, I'm very disciplined with when it needs to be done, and that's just from the fighting days, isn't it? You know, when Xi'an Bill would say, Xi'an Bill used to say to us, it was classic, and, and you know, even I say it to this day, he would say, if you have one beer, you know, over the, you know, if you were six weeks out of a fight and you have one beer, that's one training you've just pissed in the wind, you've just ruined it. You know, so try, and that was just a mindset thing to, you know, don't, what's the point of having that beer, you know? And it's very tempting, you know, you have a hard week at work or a long week at work and you just want to sit down and it's sober October this month, as they say in social media land and Alila's going for sober October and, and I'll do my best as well. And I, geez, I love a good pepper jack, uh, you know, these days and uh, sitting back on a Friday night but, um, or on the weekend. But anyway, I digress, as they say. Appreciate all the support. Nice vlog update. Here at Bancora, I'll dip after this. I go in full, full up to my neck. The water is the absolute balance that I need, and I love it. I'm in it. I went for a surf actually the other uh, on the weekend. Uh, the kids had their surf, and I come in and come come and have my my turn. And holy shit, it was tough. It was tough. You see our our swell here in spring. Uh, you know. <clears throat> 
there's many beaches down the coast. To the right down there is Torquay. To the left over there is Barwon Heads and Ocean Grove. It's all within 5Ks. And when the wind changes, the swell changes. And, um, you know, we're not catching Kelly Slater surf out here. But even just the workout for 30 minutes, I stayed in the water and just paddling. And, you know, going up to, you know, two metres height of depth. Nothing too extreme. Um, Jesus, that was a workout alone. What's everyone? Nice update, 10 minutes there. Trust everyone's well. There's my 10 minutes for my legs. And I'll go do 10 minutes underneath now and get all the bumps and bruises of what's going on. But that is my final 50. Now it's just stamina, conditioning, bike work. I'll share a little bit more of that in the next vlog. Big us, everyone. Take care. Keep training hard. Onwards and upwards. Us.